Okay, it's time to get creative. So we'll start creating content and design. And we'll be using the most powerful visual page builder for WordPress, which is the Divi Visual Builder. So we're taking this boring design and we will transform it into this beautiful website. And we'll be using the Divi Visual Builder to create the sticky header and the menu. We will of course use it for all the body content and we will use it to design our global footer. We'll also use the Divi Visual Builder to create templates in the Divi Theme Builder for blog posts, category pages, the 404 arrow page, etc, etc. So we can use the Visual Builder for basically anything on our website. So we will go through all the design options and features in Divi during this tutorial. So it's a learning by doing approach. But first, I just wanted to give you like a brief overview so you understand the concept of the Divi Visual Builder. And maybe you can see if this is something for you. So I'm going to enable the Visual Builder here on our demo website by clicking the button in the top bar when I'm logged into WordPress. And one of the really fine things with the Divi Visual Builder is that we can see exactly the same thing that our website visitors can see. But now we can click the content and we can just edit it directly like this. If I want to switch places, maybe with this image on the right, I just grab it and drop it. And then we take the text and we put it to the left and maybe the button as well. If I want to access more advanced design settings, I can just click the module and click the cogwheel and go to the design tab. And here, for example, we have the box shadow, which can look really nice and I can tweak it however I want. And we can add an animation just like this. But please be careful with these ones. And... Uh, we can, of course, change all the colors easily by going to this section, to the background, and choose another background color. Or we can choose freely here from the palette. One other really nice thing with the Divi Visual Builder is that I can duplicate and recycle content, and this will really speed up your design process. So here we have three blurbs, and let's say that I want three more. Instead of creating those from scratch, I can just click here and I can duplicate this. I can duplicate this one and I can duplicate this one. And now I just have to change the text and maybe change the image. Go to image and icon, click this one. And let's take that icon there. And boom, we have our new blurb in there. So it's a really fast way of designing websites. Just to explain the basics. When we hover here, you can see that we have a blue box. And this is called a section in Divi. And in this section, we have this nice background image with an overlay making it dark. So the white text is easy to read. And we also have a divider shaping the background image. Inside this section, we have a row, which is the green box. And inside the row, you can have one or more columns. And in the columns, we have these gray boxes, and those are the content modules. And there are over 40 modules in Divi. So here we have an image module. Here's a text module. Here's another text module. Here's a button module, another button module. And this is a row with one and two columns. This is a blurb module. This is a slider module. This is the blog module displaying the latest three blog posts. So there are lots of modules to use in Divi and they are all included. You don't have to add any extra plugins to get access to them. So let's explore the Divi Builder interface. So in the bottom here, you have this purple ball or circle. So if I click it, you will expand the Divi Builder menu. And this is really useful. So if we start looking at the left, we can actually change the 
interface. So now we have the desktop view in green. We could change it to the iPad view and preview. And we can see that now there's a mobile menu here and we can change it to the smartphone view. So this is really useful for creating mobile friendly and responsive websites that you can preview it. And you can actually even choose which um, smartphone model that you want to preview it in. Okay, we go back. Another really nice view that I like is this zoomed out view with a magnifying glass. So I click it and now I can get like an helicopter view on my website so I can see if the design is balanced and if I need to increase the, the padding or so. And by the way, to, to increase the spacing, I just grab and I drag. So this is also a really nice feature in Divi. This one is called the wireframe view. And this is also really useful if you have lots of content. So you can see like the backend structure of your website. So before I said that we had a section in the top, the blue area, we had a row with one column and we had image, text and text. And if we go back to the uh, desktop view, we can see that here is the section, the blue one, here is the row, and inside the row we had one column with an image, we had text and text. So this can be really useful and it's also a really quick way to move around objects, like doing it just like this, dragging and dropping. My favorite view is of course the desktop view. And there's where I often start my design. You can see that I did switch places and, and this is now visible here in the desktop view. So I can just take this text, drop it where it should be down there. And uh, we also have the three dots there. And uh, here is where you can customize your DV Builder settings. I like to have the Builder interaction mode in click mode, which I already set. The default one is called hover mode. So if I choose hover mode, you can see that when I hover the content, immediately all the options comes out here with the cogwheel and the delete icon and stuff. And um, I think this can be a little bit annoying to have everything visible and jumping around, especially if you have lots of content. So if I choose the click mode instead, you can see that when I hover around, I only see the border, but I have to click to actually see the edit options, this little gray box here. So I think this is a more clean way for me. And uh, here you can set a bunch of different settings for how you want your DV Builder to, to uh, operate by default. Okay, let's have a look in the middle here, the different purple icons. So we have the plus icon. And this is really useful because here you can load stuff from the library. We have over 1500 uh, ready-made layouts from Divi that's free to use. So you can just import them. We can actually try that. Let's choose a nice maybe coffee house. And uh, here we have a complete website layout. We have an about page, a blog page, contact us page, home page, etc., etc. So maybe I'll have the landing page and I can just use this layout and we can actually also view the live demo before we import it so we can test it. So there are loads of ready-made website layouts, really professional design that you can just download and use for free. And you can just also sell them to your clients if you sell websites. So you have the right to do that too, without any additional cost. Okay, so we go back and we can choose if we want to replace the existing content. So let's do that. We'll replace the start page with this new one and I choose use this layout. So the, all the images and uh, design settings are now being imported. So it could take like up to a minute or so to import it. Uh, often it goes a little bit quicker than that. When you have this uh, layout imported, you could of course edit everything in it. You can change the fonts, the colors, the images and the text. So this is not like the free limited uh, themes that you download where you have to have a button to the left and you have to have some kind of bar in the bottom uh, saying built with WordPress. Uh, this is completely customizable. So here we have our ready-made design. 
and now I can just start working here and uh, just like before we can just switch places of the content we could change colors and images and whatever we want so this is a really quick and easy way to create websites with ready-made layouts but in this course we will create a design from scratch the next one is this one save to library this means that you can add your design or your layouts to your div library and import them to other pages and like reuse or recycle the content so this is another way of making your design process more efficient so we have the next one we can just delete all the content on our page like this and then we can see actually how it looks like when you start with a blank page in Divi so we can create a row here with three columns and here we can choose from the like 46 I think it is modules so we can put in a blurb like that we can add for example a contact form and we could maybe add an image and, and this is also a great time saver that you can type image here or start typing image and then you get the module filtered out so I can click it here we can just click and replace the content so this is how it looks like when you create a blank page then I could just duplicate this, this section and I get all the content here and maybe we can add a background image clicking background and the image icon and don't worry I will go through all this uh, <laughs> in a good tempo in the tutorial just showing you an overview now and now we have a section with the background and now the text is hard to read so I go into this module I click design text and I say that the text should be light and now it's easier to read just to show you a few examples of how to work with the Divi Visual Builder okay we have the next uh, icon here is the cogwheel and here I can do some page settings like setting the title of the page we can add a featured image that's maybe more interesting for posts blog articles and uh, we can actually have advanced split testing you can do an a and a b version of the website and test see which one converts the best this is also included in divi and we have some global uh, design and advanced settings for the page and for you who like coding you can add custom css to all the pages but you can also add it globally in the divi theme customizer okay the next one here is the clock and here we can see our editing history and maybe i didn't want to uh, remove my original design then i can just go back to the this first timestamp here and voila we are back so it's okay to make mistakes because you can uh, go back again in time like a time traveling machine and the last one we are going to look uh, deeper into that one in the end of the tutorial but here you can ex actually export your design in a json file so this means that you can later import it to other wordpress installation and uh, you can also import designs and uh, i will provide the design for the divi crib all this the header footer templates the pages in json files and at the divimundo.com you will be able to download these designs and import them into your website so this is basically uh, the settings in the Divi Builder. We will uh, go through all of them and more <laughs> uh, during this tutorial. So I recommend you to install Divi and uh, follow me step by step. But this was just a brief overview to, to show you some of the features in the Divi Visual Builder.